Hello, you filthy savages. It's your ferocious host with the most weather to be the savage. Hit that subscribe button on the bottom right. Go on Smash Words and download The Little Kid from Detroit in the Lawless Land for free. Look out for my upcoming book, The Little Kid from Detroit Genocide, coming 82618. Follow me on Instagram at weather to be the savage. Links down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, we made it. The Walking Dead, the final season. <laughs> Uh, comment down below how long you've been following this story. I know I've been following since the very beginning. You know, it doesn't really matter where you jumped in, but this story is just amazing. If they kill Clementine, we riot. I don't give a fuck. If y'all hear my, you know, fan in the background, forgive me. This game or this episode is going to be way too long to be sitting in the heat. So y'all just going to have to rock with me on that one. I'm ready to make the tough decisions. I already told y'all on my Instagram. Nope. Now, what's funny is I've never actually played. I've always watched other YouTubers, you know, play. Adjust the slider so the logo is barely visible. Okay. This is the first time I'm actually sitting down and playing. But I pretty much know all the decisions I would have made if I was walking. playing. I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. Protected other people too, but he couldn't save everyone. Oh, that's easy. He could never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad. Lily. And then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. We definitely left her crazy ass behind. Lee left her on the side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could. But he got bit. Because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Just not worth the risk. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. I shot Lee. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I shot Kenny. I stopped Kenny. Finally gave him peace. It turned out AJ was alive. I love these visions. To make a point. Knowing what they'd done. I still decided we were better together. For AJ's sake. But like everything else, she committed it suicide. Last. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me. Said I was too young to take care of him. I fought Damn right, I fought for him. But I wasn't strong enough. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope. 
I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Damn, they whip it. Oh, I love the texture. A little D flapping. Badass. What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Huh, so I guess you're all grown up now. Yep. Okay. Well, let me drive. I'm not letting you drive. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. Pretend you have food. Damn. Something to distract him. Hey there, Alvin Jr. It's me, Disco Broccoli. Word on the street is that you want to eat me. Is that true? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> Come on, Clem. I can't eat a toy. Oh man. My feelings are hurt. My stomach hurts. Hmm. <laughs> Sassy. Here, practice your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven. Place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, yeah. on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Yeah. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. Look at the hair! I believe you. This is awesome. Come on, hurry up. We gonna do it? Think so. 
Looks clear. Looks are always deceiving. We're doing it. He's so happy to have that little knife. So what is Clem now, like 17 or something? Water too. All right, let's find some food. This place looks spooky. Oh, that's crazy. Let's go deal with him now. AJ, stay back. Oh, I'm liking that a whole, whole lot. It's down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? You get in the tire, and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, I want to try. After we clear this place. While I have the time to say it, this is a very interesting dynamic. Because she was only, what, five or six or seven, however old she was young as hell when the uh, apocalypse hit. So she knows very little about the world, and he knows even less. He knows nothing, because he was born in the apocalypse. That's crazy. She can only fill in bits and pieces. Pieces. Whoever used to grow things here is long gone. Long dead. I'm not drinking that. You got me bent. do inside a new place we listen for monsters after that uh... come on you remember we inside a new place we always check, check the, windows. the windows that's right AJ is always listening, like a kid. He's like a sponge. Mm. Huh. Should not have to explain Monsters. that to a little boy. All tied up. They can't get us? Mm -hmm. 
No, they can't. Hmm. Windows are all boarded up. This one's locked. That's the scary part about being security a parent. Door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together. Holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. Maybe one day, my boy. We got this open the lock. <sighs> That's not happening. Just kill him. Do we get the key? Mm, yes. It's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Uh, Let's be smart. That's right. Yeah. Let's be smart. Knife the zombies in their head. Oh, my bad. Zombies do not exist in this universe. Walkers. They ate well for their last meal. Beans. Homemade. Might be more where this came from. I know, my boy. I know. It's gonna be alright. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. And the key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. He's right. They used to be people. And as people, they ask to be left alone. So what's best? I'm obviously going to kill the couple. I'll get the key. I'm not risking my boy. With him. I'm sorry. Exactly. <sighs> Sorry, it had to go this way. I'm not. thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. There's a lot of bad people, AJ. Be careful what you wish for. There must be good ones, too. We're good. 
good is relative. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Always, Always aim for the head. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. You know the reason I didn't want to tell him that other one. You know, always say the last bullet for yourself. Even in a world like this, hope is a very strong thing. It'll get you through. Not the worst place to sleep. <sighs> Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. Eh. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, fuck. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Something under here. Floor door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. Uh oh. Let's go. It's rigged. <laughs> Can you hear? CJ. And now we got the dead all over us. Damn right. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. Come on with it. Oh, dang. exactly like the art from the uh, comic books which I own three compendium compendiums however you pronounce it really thick books they're so good way better than the show I recommend the books over the show anytime you know what to do stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path This game is more is the most fluid out of them all. It's almost like a real You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, 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 okay. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Forgive me for being stupid. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path. Good job, AJ. Let's get 
to the car. Off me. Better go. There we go. AJ putting in work. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. AJ, buckle up. Hell of an intro. Hell of an intro. Oh, I'm not liking this at all. Always a new group, and that group always goes to shit. PJ, see what I'm talking about? Is 
Shit. See what y'all got for me. That simply just won't do. Look like a fairy threw up on it. This'll do. Oh, you really... Excuse me, you guys, while I connect this stupid... Problem solved. Anybody want to donate to my account because I need a longer cord, in all honesty. Shit it on this place. Nothing over here. Quaint. <sighs> Clementine's boots cold as hell. <laughs> Safe. 
I'll take you to see him. Just put down the knife. Huh. How do I know you're telling the truth? Prove it. Show him to me. Trust me, and I will. Her boots cold as hell. Fake ass Daryl. See? We're not gonna hurt you. I'm Marlon. A little guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. We gotta take precautions, you know, just in case. Save your sorries for someone who cares. All I care about is my boy. So it seems. Still, I apologize. Tying folks up isn't exactly something we enjoy around here. Okay, I'm gonna stop being now. so cold. So hey, hey. They seem cool. Come on. Let's go see your boy. I swear if they fuck me over in any way, the first chance I get they going out. You've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah, we've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? I don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. I can't imagine what that must have been like. You sound surprised. I'm like, you think I can't handle myself. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Sorry, didn't mean to come off that way. Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. Don't go falling in love, lover boy. As long as it's up to me, Clementine will not be giving you any play. Ten seems cool. It's good we found you when we did. She's emo as fuck. Well. easy getting you two out of that wreck. Walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Will you stop staring at me? Please. I don't mind him. What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. Is everybody around here this mute? Place. You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses, and a good location too. No one really comes out this way anymore. We've carved ourselves the perfect camp. Kids are safe here. Make sure of it. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. You got me and AJ all wrong, Marlin. A couple of pure angels. <laughs> the jury's still out on you, but an angel your boy is decidedly not. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Well, let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. 
I need to take care of this. Maybe you should stop no, yelling. Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. You get a move on, Willie. Where's your damn weapon? Fuck Erickson. Oh, music. <laughs> Check. I bet this place was beautiful back in this day. I could really go for some nachos right now. With a bunch of meat and thick ass cheese, sour cream, tomatoes. <sighs> nope. Music sounds like it's coming from this floor. Master of fine ass. Master of big ass. Juris doctorate of ass. <laughs> ah, little boys. Hmm, can't go this way. Where is that music coming from? If I were a betting man, which I totally fucking am. I would put 300 on this way. Ah, you little motherfucker! Hey! Hey! Uh, that time you woke up, your little boy just bit me! He's lucky I didn't take a boot to his head. Nearly took a chunk out of me. Ah, hurts him fierce! I'm so sorry. He acts out sometimes. He's been through a lot. Yeah, well, ain't we all? Don't see any of us sinking our teeth into either of you! Boy needs to learn some respect. I will try to instill that in him. Little red-headed bitch. Clem! You're okay. I was afraid you were... I'm okay. And you know what you are? What? Ticklish. <laughs> but, AJ, listen to me. That girl out there says you bit her. Is that true? Answer me, AJ. Did you bite her? I didn't mean to. She snuck up on me. Still, no more bites. No more bites. You're not dead. That's good. Watch your kid for you. My name is AJ. Oh, this is the love interest. I, I can already AJ tell. for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. No problem. Well, not no problem. He was a bit of a handful. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, <laughs> little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Lewis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. And everything better be in it.
Um, double, um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. I'll guarantee he's a better shot than you. Hey. You guys do your thing, I guess. Don't worry about what we own. You don't know any We own some other shit. Well, there is one. Yes. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Dreadful sorry, Clementine. Light she was and like a fairy And her shoes were number nine Herring boxes without topses Sandals <laughs> were for Clementine <laughs> What do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Come press this key. Come on. This one right here. Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Gotta try new stuff, man. Open your mind. Now press this one. AJ kind of looks like one. my godson. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey. You seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> hate to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. Another day, another kill. back good we're gonna need you to put it to use we've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside we need our help to clear the way seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days it's almost like something drew their attention something like i don't know an explosion or a car crash bye what just saying are you insinuating something you know just speculating Speculate these uh, um, hands, bitch. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it Cheryl's. <laughs> that was stupid. That was like a dad joke. Cheryl's. Wait, let me help. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. I'm already ready. Come on. Get your hands off me. Around 
this area for these ass hats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Oh, y'all. Y'all are some penises. <sighs> There's a whole bunch of traps laying around this area for these ass hats. They're all marked, so keep a lookout. Don't scare me. Chill fucking hands off me. Gonna be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not half bad considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Neither are you. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. See, you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <laughs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right, fun's over. Let's get inside. Ah, fucking starving. You're not the only one. How'd it go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. The safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here, that was a solid A. A plus even. Okay, now you dick Don't be jealous, Vi. Be better. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. I like this little setup. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I like it. Got a dog. Got search teams. Got, you know, it's 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 growing on me.
They're pretty good. But the monsters. Come on, y'all. Boots. <sighs> AJ! <sighs> Yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. <laughs> he can't go around punching people into that. No one expect me to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. AJ, my boy, we gotta work on that. Hey, what are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. The same thing we're doing. Surviving. But we don't eat monsters. Yeah, but if we could, we probably would. I wouldn't. Whatever you say. I wouldn't. Gross. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you, but we should go talk to them. But, but I don't think they like me. I can just tell. They don't. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here, with the bird. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. So we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. I can do that. I used to have a hard time with people, too. I still do. I'm not sure anyone would pledge to that. Mm, yes. Redolent of rosemary. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. I can fuck with that. Me being a fat boy and all. that girl I bet. Yeah. Wanna talk to her? You mean say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You she reminds me of Debbie just from uh Shameless. Tell her you were scared. Tell her why you did it. Because of my Thing. Yep, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Just be honest. Yes? I'm sorry I bit you sometimes. When I get scared, <sighs> I do that, but I don't mean to. I just, I just get scared, and I'm sorry, and I hope your finger is okay. No, oh, Shug, sure, it's all right. We can all get a little crazy when we get scared. Thank you for your honesty and your apology. I did it! You sure did. All right. See, was it that hard?
Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm, like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those or a journal. Learn from the past and all that. You seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe zone. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She. Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? AJ, give it back to him. Okay. Thank you. This thing is the only place I get any real privacy around here. I gotta preserve what I can, you know? I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know. Bye. <laughs> okay. I'm a writer, so I understand. I'm not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. I didn't even see nobody else. Oh, there's them. Hey, guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? I've never seen anyone do that. Yeah, I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Oh, shit. He talks. Him. Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlin. Okay. Look at that beast just sleeping at their side. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. Yeah, he is pretty sweet. Not everybody sees that. I won't pay them no mind if you won't. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. <laughs> hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <laughs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Hmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh. <laughs> that boy hungry. He's slow. Manners, AJ. Where are your manners, AJ? night good night 
Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. Look at him trying to get in good. I see you, boy. Don't, 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 don't play with me, boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Me too. I, I created the moves. <laughs> now I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> Time for something very important. Oh God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. Get ready, losers, because it's time for you all to lose. Oh, shit. I like that. Full talk. Uh-uh. True talk. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Oh, wait. What about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. Come on. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would. Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? Dead. You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. <sighs> For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. It's a good little so, dynamic what here. What do you want to know? You know how they just are making everybody know. Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Booyah! Oh, Lord. Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Yes. Oh, God. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. I haven't, by the way. Oh, I'm sure she's real surprised about that one. I met a boy one time. And? And we were friends. Just friends. Nothing else? Nothing at all? I don't know what you'd call them. But I had some sort of feelings for him. Maybe not exactly love, but something. Ha, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to shoot a gun. Useful stuff. Yeah, I taught AJ the same Memories, way memories. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away.
What's up with your haircut, Marlin? Oh boy. Uh oh. Uh, what do you mean? She looks like a dead cat. Probably smells like one too. Uh, I look cool. <laughs> I say I look cool. That yeah, boy, a hillbilly. Yeah, boy. Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? Uh oh. That is fucked up. <laughs> well, I know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Now, I've been watching this story. These, you know, telltale stories for six years now. 2012. Six years. So, if I have to say who's going to die first, you got Marlon the White Boy. He's he going to stick around. I don't think... No? Because everybody has the potential for death. We know that. But it's just, whoever gets closest to us, that's who's going to die. So I say the love interest boy. But then again, you got Marlon, the leader. I hope, yeah, Marlon. You got Marlon, the leader. He pretty much has to die so Clem can rise to power. Which we know she is. Come on now. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. That's true. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm Worst a hardcore motherfucker. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Protect Tin at all costs. He's precious. Long day, huh? Like AJ. Yep. Real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. Let's relax. Get some sleep. Feel human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. We can stay? We can talk about it. That looks like a really safe window. It does. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah. Like ten. Ten's an artist. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh... Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. 
Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's... it's fine. Don't... don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's... it's fine. It's all right. She says you can keep it. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to disappoint Tin. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> She had the most amazing voice, real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they, afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. No, oh, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie, uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like fist. a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. <clears throat> I wasn't even paying attention, y'all. I meant hey, to answer that. I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Enjoy the art supplies, little man. <laughs> Thumbs up. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. Uh, That's a good you idea, see you got, he, You see you drew the strap, he a gangster. How about here? Uh, AJ? Hey there, what are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man, this bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? <sighs> I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. <laughs> if I stay here, no one can find me. And I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. I'll be Pick okay. I promise. Okay, okay. You can sleep under the bed. Here, for your head. Let me know if you get cold. Okay. Good night, AJ. Clem? Yeah? I'm glad we're not sleeping in the car anymore. Yeah. Me too.
end of the road. He's gonna let us stay, right? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's find his office. I know where it is. I'll show you. Up here! Come on, Clem, this way. Hey, AJ, wait up. Clem getting old, can't run like she used to. Tim's here. Hi. Hey, Tennessee. What are you guys doing? I was looking for more pencils, but I wasn't able to find any. Who are these guys? They're firefighters. That one's a policeman. She's gonna save the day. But what are they? They... These were the people who protected us. Where are they? I've never seen one before. They all died a long time ago, trying to save everyone. Oh, they were weak. What? No. Dang. They were brave. Strong. Now, give it to me and... No, he's mine now. Hey, give it back. No. You don't even know what they are. Okay, okay. That's enough, you two. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. No, it's not. Oh, fine. Thanks. Do you know where Marlin is? I don't know. He should be around. I can go find him. That'd be nice. Thanks, Ten. Look. He forgot about hey, that toy already. What'd you find? It's a picture. Of Marlon and Lewis. They're so little. Wow. They've known each other a long time, huh? Back when the world was easy. Marlon? Stay back. Fuck with Whoa. me, Pooch. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, Pooch. Shh. You said dogs brought back bad memories. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so scared of them. But I swear, Rosie's not as frightening as she seems. <laughs> Sit, girl. See? She's harmless. She just needs to get to know you, is all. Yeah, well, she better hurry up. Here, I'll show you. My friend got bit by a dog. Do you trust me? It was real bad. Rosie, shh. <sighs> okay, I guess. Get down on her level. Better get your scent. It's okay. She's not gonna hurt you. There you go. Now whistle and tell her to lie down. Lie down, Rosie. That's so cool. See? Not so hard. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Now Rosie will recognize you. She's really well trained. She was the headmaster's dog back when this place was still functional. But when the world went to shit, Bailed. All the other adults did. Left us behind to fend for ourselves. Wow. What a dick. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Now it's just us kids left. And I'd like it if you and AJ were a part of that. Both of you are plenty capable, and we need that. Here. This is the current state of our plan for gathering food. We 
we are starting to run short. It's getting harder and harder to feed everyone in this school. What's the trap area? A hunting grounds, more or less. Lewis built some traps out there to catch game. He and Sam are set to go check them today. Hmm. Interesting. What's out here? Oh, that's where we fish. Uh, I got a shack for storage right here. Right along the river. It's secure, mostly. You get the occasional walker or two come by. Vine Brody should be heading out there in a bit. Well, I was about to say, what's mostly? I didn't realize how much forest surrounds this place. It's how we've kept ourselves from unwanted attention for so long. Well, for the most part, anyway. That's the only road that leads in and out of Erickson. If you go off it, you'll eventually end up in the valley. We used to have signs that led people to the school, but I took them down. I wanted this place to be hard to find. The greenhouse? Oh, yeah. Well, don't get too excited about that one. We used to maintain it real well. I had plenty of vegetables growing. But it became overgrown. Upkeep was impossible. Yeah, we, uh, we keep away from that now. Oh, we have experience with greenhouses, don't we, Clem? Think back, y'all. Season 2. That's the train station. There was a whole stash of food under the floorboards. Oh, where you crashed your car? Pretty sure that place a lost cause. There's a hell of a lot of smoke coming from it when we found you two. Walkers flooded in there after all the noise you made. One more thing. You see these red lines? Yeah. So everything inside is the safe zone. It's been getting smaller over the years and food's become more scarce. So, why not go outside it? <laughs> I can't. Whenever someone goes outside the safe zone, bad shit happens. People die or disappear. I just... <clears throat> I could really use the help, Clementine. Taking care of these kids, it's not easy. I'm worried that if I don't figure something out, if, if I don't fix our food situation, I can't lose anyone else. Understand oh, lost so much. Friends. Siblings, I can't let another kid die. We're not gonna let that happen. I promise. <sighs> Thanks, Clementine. I appreciate that. I really do. Everyone's counting on me to step up. Be the leader they need me to be. I really want to be that for them. You and AJ are two more mouths to feed. Maybe you can help me feed the rest. So what Cannibalism. Do you Lewis and Asim are heading to the hunting grounds, looking for rabbits. Well, Asim will, anyway. Lewis, I uh, just hope he shows up, if I'm really being honest. Violet and Brody are going up river to do some spear fishing. And hopefully, those two get along long enough to get some work done. Both teams could use some extra hands. I'll go with Violet and Brody. We're gonna go fishing. Okay. Take this. I don't want you getting lost. Thanks. We need all hands on deck if we're gonna find any more food. Just remember to stay in the safe zone. We need you to come back home in one piece. So that means we can stay? What? Do you think I was gonna throw you out? Maybe. Well, as long as we got enough to eat. Both welcome here. Go get him, AJ. All right, let's get going. See you around. You know, I've been thinking. I wish we could all go on a road trip together. Road trip? Why bother? 
It's not like there's anything worth seeing anymore. Oh, come on. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff to see. Maybe Clem could show us around. You're able to get a car working, and you know how to drive? Barely. Come on, Vi. I've never driven in my life, but I'd love to learn. That sounds kind of nice. I love the open road. I wouldn't mind showing you around. Just as long as you're not the one driving. Are we going to the car? Whatever. It's broken. Good. I'm sick of the car. I wish this old rust bucket was still working. We could just jump in and start driving. We could take turns sitting in the back. It'd be like driving one of those cars with the top that goes down. We'd run out of gas eventually. Convertible. But still, it's fun to imagine, isn't it? <laughs> Where would you go, Clem? If you could drive anywhere you wanted, if gas wasn't an issue, to or heaven. a busted carburetor, or flat tires, or the transmission, buzzkill. I'd drive down to the coastline, maybe park on the beach and go swimming. That'd be an absolute dream. You could spend every day in the sun and die of skin cancer. Fun. We're all gonna die. I'll oh, shut up. I'll skin cancer over turning into a walker any day. I've lived here my entire life. Heck, I'd say I know every inch of these woods. I'd kind of like to unknow it. No use dreaming of what could be. We've got shit to do. Yeah. I guess we should get to work on those fish. We got spears inside the shack. Come on. You go ahead. I'll stay out here. Keep watch, emo girl. Where are those spears? Hey. About by. I'm sorry she's being a little mean. It's my fault. What do you mean? I was there when those walkers killed Sophie and Minnie. They were really close with Vi, and I think she blames me for what happened to them. I mean, how do you even apologize for something that fucked up? I don't know. Maybe I deserve it. You should talk to her about it. I'm sure she'll listen. <laughs> yeah, right. I tried. I have. It just never seems like the right time. We all used to be friends. Guess I just kind of missed that. But when you showed up, I don't know. I just haven't seen her warm up to someone in a long time. Hmm. Do you? I mean, I hate to ask this of you, but do you think you could talk to her? See how she feels? Damn, I just got here. It's just been eating me up inside. Sure thing, Brody. I can talk to her. Really? That's great. Thanks, Clementine. I'm gonna go check our fish traps downstream. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? See? I'll take this to Vi. There should be some extras lying around. Find a spear. Just some old gardening supplies. Don't we need spears? <laughs> right, I almost forgot. Hey you, what you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva, what does that mean? It means they were really good friends. Like me and you are really good friends? Not exactly. I gotta see what that's for. All 
Alright, Spear. You can come out anytime. There we go. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Mm. Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I wanna try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. I got something good enough for me. Y'all see how cold I am? Hey, I'm sorry if I was weird last night about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> uh, I understand. There are people I still miss too. It never really gets easier. Yeah, it really doesn't. Heads up, guys. The hole's not looking that great. Uh, yeah, okay. <sighs> God, sometimes she just gets on my last nerve, you know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's, it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. She definitely thinks you hate her. <laughs> Poor fishy. But we gotta eat. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one. <laughs> Good job. Good job, AJ. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Because you blame her for what happened with the twins. Well, that's what I used to think. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Maybe I could have protected Soph. And Minnie. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody, to tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. We should catch up with Lewis and Asim. See if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah. That would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Ooh, I'm getting sleepy. Okay. Ooh, okay. All right. We in this bitch. Ooh.
Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Well, what? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A uh, Sam? Lewis! Uh oh. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Feel like shit's about to hit the fan. Huh. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Flim! Found something. Niggas using anything. That's crazy. Monster. Guys, over here. Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. <sighs> Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Hey, easy. We'll still find enough food to get us through the... That's not what I'm worried about. Brody, just chill. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this all back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where I forget how literal look? kids can Let be. Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. That's not going to go over well with Marlin, but I guess we got to burn that bridge when we come to it. Oh, damn. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. We could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. It wouldn't. We need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. to get the walker's attention. They do like to follow sound. No shit. You look like you've got an idea. 
The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Louis, I vote Louis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming, let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. Talking all that shit. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine, I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Should have minded your own fucking business. No, no. I'm just not gonna do it. You have no no. There's a rotten hole in your face. Alright, someone get me. Nobody? Meet again, lovely couple. Yes, these will be perfect. Plenty. Look. Try it out. See if it works. Damn, her face dirty. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> what the hell? AJ? Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand. Slow. Oh, damn. Don't yell. Don't try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to. Do not fuck with me. I'm 
not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food. Same as you. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. You'll understand if I don't tell you anything. It wasn't really a question. More like confirmation. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. I count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking... Maybe more? You ask too many questions. I don't like it. Fine. We can play it like that. If you want. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, Squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? Crunch time now. Asshole tried to stick us up. Made it back. You are not listening to me. Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. I owed you. You all saved me first. <laughs> Call us even, then. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome. Look, I didn't get out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? He's Walker food. Relax. 
What if there are others? What if they come looking for him? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible! Bitch, get your finger out my face. You start, oh, okay, so she on the death list. As far as I, you know what, at this point, see, she just woke me up, because I was kind of drifting off, she just woke me up. As far as I'm concerned, she's on being status right now, I will let you die, bitch. Don't even, don't even, don't even trip. I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but... Nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. Can't help it. <laughs> well, that's not even the button I meant to press. I meant to say it was worth the risk. Um, so go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Glenn. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Damn, this kid is a well balanced guy. Happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there, too? I promise I'll draw you well. Sure, you draw me in, still. kid. Sure, why not? Okay, okay. Uh, no, I'm not ending it. I just, you know, I got to get my thoughts out while I can. Um, 
he's giving me a very, I think he's going to be very crucial to the story in one way or another, because he's giving me a very, he's coming off as very well put together or mature or whatever you want to call it, but it, something's not right with him. It's just not. Something is not right. Something is very off with him, and it's going to come out in a not so subtle way. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what. The fuck you, you gonna do with two minutes? We'll see. <laughs> you got in bed by yourself. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. It's good, for now. But places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. I feel like something is about to happen. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let him bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. He's adorable. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe.
What are they up to? Just a little farther. They hide something. Sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. Everybody is not who they seem. Symbolic. A storm is brewing. I like it. According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. Come on, cellar door. We ain't there yet. I, I understand. Loud and clear. Crystal. Come away. How did they not hear this? Oh, Clem. Sticking your nose in other people's business, but I'm nosy anyway, so come on. I want all the tea. You don't even know for sure was that. She also said he got bit. JT ain't gonna bother us. You know he's not alone. Those bastards are. Side note: Are we dealing with Are we dealing with a Carver situation? You know, like uh, we join a group and then we figure out that group is being harassed by uh some asshole leader, or you know what? Carver situation and a savior's Negan situation, but you know, let's get back to it. Back, and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know oh, that. Oh shit! Nothing to you! There you go again, getting so mad! What do you want me to do? You're making me mad! No, we have to tell the others about what you did! Sam, show yourself! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at this 
station. We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. You're acting she gets crazy. This way sometimes. She's just gotta tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. Oh, shit. They were shit. killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed hey, of what- Shut up! Damn! Hmm. Damn, bro! What'd you say? Oh my god! I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. So sorry. Oh, you know he gonna frame it on me. Oh. God damn it! Hell! You hit her too hard. She's not gonna make it. Shut up! Come on, Brody, we can fix this. Please, we're gonna be okay. I take back just, what I just, said just about stay with her. Being and there, all there's of that. a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? It's not gonna, bro. It's you me, gave. Clem, just, just stay still. Who? I, I, I can't see. Clementine. Remember? We talked about going to the beach. Swimming, driving along the coast. Son. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back... Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Oh, shit. Brody. <laughs> Oh, you are, you are a grade A asshole. You on your own, Clem? If I could find something really thin, I could force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flush it. That'll help. I gotta hand it to these writers, man. They. They deliver every time. Every time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, wait, maybe. From both sides. Marlon must have the key. Damn it. Okay. Oh, that is so unnerving. And then with the darkness, you forget where she is. Oh, ain't that a bit. There we go. Is that a... Yes, 
This will work. Come on, come on. Get me. Come on. Oh, nope. Come on. AJ, put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me. Where is she? She's in the basement. She murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? She's... She... Because he's Why lying. Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? That's bullshit, Marlin. Clem, you killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie. I saw you kill her. What the hell is going on? Look at her hands. She's covered in Brody's blood. Sure. We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us. Guns being pulled and murder. Well, fuck them. Fuck, Marlin. Jesus Christ. You shoot me? What do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Cut them the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? For me, your friend! help us get food. 
What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? You have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Oh. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head! Hey, what would Mindy want you to do? She was my friend, too. So sprouted. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. You were there that day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you two! <laughs> Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marvin. Be reasonable. Understand it all, do you? We we'll understand that you're a pussy. You. Oh, 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 oh. All of you, every fucking one of you. He's lying to you. He can't or won't protect you. Look what happened to Brody, to Sophie, Minerva. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth. I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school! When I came back, I'd do it again! Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable! Your dick told me they died! I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them stakes, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you, Sophie, Minerva. <laughs> Figure out what to do with you. Fine. Fine. You win. I can't. Oh, my God. Damn. This nigga AJ is a savage. What?
Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Well, the ferocious host with the most is signing off.